Explain when you were governor and as governor of Alaska how you took on your, your own party. Yeah. Because as, you know, you still have a very high approval rating, but there are people that still uh, weren't happy about it. How did you take on your own party specifically, and, and do you think you'd be able to do that as well in Washington? Well, I just recognized up there, as John McCain talks about on the campaign trail also, it doesn't matter which party it is that is just kind of creating this good old boy network and the cronyism and allowing obsessive partisanship to get in the way of just doing what's right for the people who are to be served. And I just recognize that it's not just the other party, sometimes it's our own party that just starts taking advantage of the people. And I felt compelled to do something about it, decided to run for office, got in there, and with that mandate that I believe the people had just given me via their vote, they expected the changes to take place, that reform, and we're living up to that, and as we do, we are ruffling feathers. Had, had, had Republicans in Washington lost their way in recent years? I believe that Republicans in Washington have got to understand that the people of America are not solely satisfied with all the, um, all the dealings within the party. Same applies though for the other party also. Americans are just getting sick and tired of the old politics as usual, that embracing of the status quo, going with the flow and just assuming that the people of America are not noticing that we have opportunity for good change. We have opportunity for a healthier, safer, more prosperous uh, and energy independent nation at this time. People are getting tired of a process that's not allowing that process, that progress to be ushered in. Governor, have you spoken with Senator McCain about your specific role in the McCain administration? Sure have, and very excited about the role that I will play as his partner, and I will focus on energy independence and reform overall of Washington and tax cuts for Americans and reining in spending. The, the These thing, are specific roles that you have already talked about that yeah, you, will, absolutely, you would take absolutely. on as vice president? Right, so I'd like to talk about each one of them, and I wish that we sure. had hours to talk about this also. I'm, I'm, I have nothing to do. Okay, good. <laughs> because another thing that we'll talk about yeah. also is a role that, that I will play that is very near and dear to my heart and that's um, helping families with special needs children and, and um, being able to strengthen our National Institute of Health also and find cures for presently incurable diseases. But first and foremost, an energy independent nation. We must get there, Sean. It is a matter of national security and of our future prosperity, being able to quit relying on foreign sources of energy to feed our hungry markets. When we have the American supplies, we have the American ingenuity, and we have the American workers to produce these supplies of energy. Let me ask you, Americans have heard, for example, a lot of information, false information, misinformation, or incorrect information on ANWR. Um, some have said that drilling there is going to hurt the animals, it's going to ruin the environment, it's going to hurt the environment, hurt the landscape. You know, it's clear, I, I, I've heard you talk passionately about your love for your state of Alaska. Yeah. You know, why then, why then would you support drilling in Alaska, and why would that be a good thing? Why would why would you want to do that? I support drilling in Alaska because it's going to be good for our nation and our nation. Including nations. Anwar. Absolutely. Anwar yeah. is a 2,000 acre plot of land and it's a 20 million acre plot of land. It's about the size of LAX, that, that platform of land that we would need to explore. But no secret, uh, John McCain and I agree to disagree on that one and I'm going to keep working on it. Have you had with, any discussions Anwar. about it yet? We have. Mm -hmm. We have. And is he softening? I, well, I'm very, very encouraged as we all understand that John McCain knows more so than any other leader in our nation today that for national security reasons we must be an energy independent nation. We must start taking the steps to get there. That's why he has embraced offshore drilling. That's why he has embraced the ideal of the alternative fuels also. And um, I'll keep working on him with all right. Anwar. All right, there you go. Well, there'll be some spirited discussion I assume <laughs> sure. in the administration. The nice thing about him too is he is not asking me or anybody else to check our opinions at the door. He wants that healthy deliberation and debate within. And you've talked about that too. Yeah, we sure have. Yeah. Yep, it's been refreshing. T. Boone Pickens said that we have a $700 billion annual transfer of wealth. Yes. We're importing, what, 70% of our oil. Do you view this as an, a national security issue, an economic security issue? Oh. And, Both. And what is the impact for Americans down the road if we don't do something to solve 
our energy dependence. Right. In that $700 billion transfer of wealth, that's uh, when the price of oil was up as high as it was there at the at the $140 mark, but of course that transfer of wealth still, that imbalance of um, trade is um, something that, that we need to tackle also. Yeah, those dollars should be circulating within our own economy. It's a matter of national security. It is a matter of our future prosperity. Energy is inherently linked to security and prosperity. More and more Americans are recognizing this also. You can see the constituents putting pressure on Congress to come on Congress, get rid of that gridlock that you are so engaged in now. We sort of have a do-nothing Senate right now where um, nobody's wanting to really pick up the ball and run with it and take the steps that we have to take to become more energy independent. And it's going to take a whole a change in leadership in order to really crush that gridlock and get going on this.